Today, we will be learning about how properties of materials and product design affect the behaviour of bubble makers. We will be successful if, by the end of the lesson, we know that the properties of materials and shape of the design influence the performance of products, understand that the shape and amount of bubbles produced is dependent on the relationship between the properties and construction of the bubble maker, and be able to create a virtual prototype of a bubble maker. The key inquiry question for this lesson is, in what ways do the properties of materials and design features influence the performance of bubble makers? Students commence this lesson by engaging in four outdoor rotations where they can explore and experiment with bubbles. At the first rotation, students trial blowing bubbles using a cube bubble blower made from construction sticks and connectives. What were the shapes of your bubbles? Do you think you could blow square bubbles? Why? In the second rotation, students dip the sock covered end of their bubble blower into bubble mix and gently blow the water bottle top connected to the sock at the other end. How would you describe the appearance of these bubbles? Why do you think these materials create bubbles in this way? Can you suggest any other materials that may produce similar bubbles? Following from this, the third rotation involves students using pipe cleaners to create a variety of bubble makers. How did the size of your bubble blower affect the quantity of bubbles produced? Did a particular shape produce larger bubbles? Why? Lastly, in rotation 4, students use straws and string to construct a large bubble maker. What processes did you adopt for your bubbles to work? What did you notice about the relationship between the bubble maker and the shape, size and quantity of the bubbles? Did you change the shape of your bubble maker? Next, students use the software Tinkercad to design a bubble maker that is marketable to the public and does not exceed the size of 8cm by 8cm by 8cm. What have you observed to be desirable features of a bubble maker? Who are you designing your bubble maker for? Students are to label their product, outlining the key design features. Later, their prototype will be produced via a 3D printer.